Well, yes, definitely. It's uh, remarkable to see how the perception uh, towards uh, energy, sustainable energy procurement uh, shifted in the last uh, couple of years, not only from clients, but also from a uh, consultant's uh, point of view. Uh, in the past, we did see a lot of uh, resistance uh, due to lack of knowledge or information from, uh, from our clients. But right now, hardly any conversation about uh, energy procurement consultancy goes by without a constructive discussion about uh, the options when it comes to uh, sustainability um, and we can also see that uh, a lot of our clients are more and more interested in, uh, in uh, not only in guarantees of origin but also in uh, in, uh, in alternatives when it comes to sustainability and this is because they do not perceive sustainability anymore just then as additional cost but rather as an additional value towards uh, the, their fu the future of their uh, energy uh, procurement and um, we can see that this added value it's uh, quite yeah it's quite vivid in for example PPA uh, projects where uh, we get quite a good business case uh, most of the time and uh, quite recently we've done uh, one uh, tender in uh, Spain for solar panels and even with the fact that uh, we had to include uh, some extra charges for capacity even then it was uh, still a good business case for uh, for our client and they went uh, through with the project at the end of the day the decision making around uh, including sustainability in uh, in clients energy procurement really depends on uh, the drivers uh, that uh, they have behind them so for some of them they are quite cost driven or compliance driven but more and more clients uh, really intend to uh, include sustainability as an essential part of their uh, energy procurement Well, I like to say that the choice of energy procurement uh, is actually quite simple. You either stay uh, grey or you go green. Of course, the deployment of ladder option has many applications or shades of uh, green. For example, one could opt for investing uh, money in guarantees of origin that come from uh, hydropower or from biomass, which are most of the time the cheapest uh, form of uh, guarantees of origin. But by doing that, you're not really um, adding or contributing to the extra capacity that uh, that should come to the grid. Of course, if you want to go a step further, you could consider investing in a more greener options of uh, guarantees of origin, which could be, for example, locally produced uh, solar or uh, wind power. But of course, these uh, the second option of guarantees of origin uh, does come with the price premium. But at the end of the day, it does mean that you are contributing to extra capacity on the grid. In many cases, guarantees of origin are really a good solution to green your uh, supply chain of course if there's no other uh, option available because guarantees of origin and the cost that uh, that they bring is just a repetitive cost on a yearly basis and it does not come with a return on investment if you're looking for uh, projects or or investments that do come with uh, with an ROI you could for example consider going for on-site or off-site uh, PPAs so not only that they make a good business case, but they also provide you to get uh, money back from, uh, from your investment. And of course, they contribute to your uh, long-term sustainability goals. They can also mean that you have a better security of supply and also that you have more affordable uh, energy procurement. Well, this is something that largely depends uh, on the options and goals that uh, each client or potential prospect has uh, set forward uh, for themselves. Uh, first of all, what, uh, what uh, one should be aware about is the current situation. So where are we at the moment and what uh, do we want to achieve? in order to be able to sketch uh, the right uh, path towards more sustainable future. Secondly, one uh, needs to be aware that uh, with uh, deploying more uh, sustainability in energy procurement uh, does result in the change of their uh, consumption profile, uh, perhaps also in uh, adaptation of uh, current or uh, future electricity contracts. So these are all things that uh, 
yeah, that clients should not fear about because uh, this is something that you can discuss openly with your consultant and also make sure that every time you uh, organize a tender, electricity tender, that you uh, put enough flexibility in your conditions that can allow uh, the uh, yeah, deployment of, uh, of renewable uh, solutions in, uh, in the future, but also now. At the moment, uh, portfolios of our clients um of some of them are very complex, of others less, but in the future we can definitely expect uh, even more complexity over overall portfolio in the course of the ongoing energy transition. And it could be that your electricity contracts will have to be paired with several battery arrangements, with uh, demand side management, with uh, um, cross-border uh, PPAs, uh, on-site, off-site PPAs or guarantees of origin. So this is definitely something that uh, you should uh, keep in mind when um, organizing your uh, tenders and also looking for the best uh, solution that will uh, bring you a step closer to your sustainability goals.